millions of grapevine grafting process. Did you know that some grapevines are over 400 years old? The oldest grapevine in the world is believed to be a 400-year-old plant located in Slovenia, and it still produces grapes to this day. This just goes to show how resilient and enduring grapevine plants can be and how important they are to our world. Welcome to this video on grapevine farming and agricultural technology. Grapevine farming is a highly profitable and sustainable industry that's been practiced for centuries. With modern techniques such as irrigation, pruning and pest control, grapevine farmers can now produce high-quality grapes for wine, juice and fresh fruit consumption. Grapevine farming generates significant revenue with some businesses earning millions of dollars annually. One surprising fact about grapevine farming is that the quality and flavor of the grapes can be influenced by the type of music played in the vineyard. Studies have shown that playing certain types of music, such as classical or jazz, can positively affect grape development and quality. The vibrations and sound waves from the music may stimulate the grapevines resulting in better flavor and aroma profiles. While this may seem like a small detail, it highlights the importance of considering all factors that may impact grapevine farming, including non-traditional methods such as music therapy. Grapevine grafting process Grafting is a technique used in grapevine production to create a new plant by joining a section of one plant with the rootstock of another plant. This is done to create a plant with desirable characteristics, such as disease resistance or increased yield. Here's an overview of the modern grafting process. Please subscribe to the channel for more fascinating videos. The first step is to select a rootstock that's appropriate for the desired grape variety and growing conditions. The rootstock should be resistant to soil-borne diseases and pests, and it should be compatible with the scion, the part of the plant that will be grafted onto the rootstock. The scion is collected from a healthy grapevine of the desired variety. It should be a young, vigorous shoot with at least two buds. The rootstock is prepared by making a clean, angled cut at the top of the stem, just below a bud. This cut should be about one inch long and should be made with a sharp, clean knife. Then the scion is carefully inserted into the cut in the rootstock, making sure that the cambium layers, the thin layer of tissue just under the bark that transports nutrients, of both the scion and rootstock line up. The graft is then secured with grafting tape or wax to prevent air and moisture from entering the wound. The grafted plant is then placed in a warm, humid environment to encourage healing and growth. After a few weeks, the graft union should begin to form and the plant can be moved to a cooler, drier environment to encourage root growth. Once the plant has established roots, it can be transplanted into the vineyard or garden. Care should be taken to protect the graft union from damage during transplanting and to provide adequate support for the new plant. Modern grafting techniques, such as micropropagation and tissue culture, have made it possible to produce large numbers of grafted grapevines quickly and efficiently. These methods use sterile laboratory conditions to produce plants that are free from disease and pests, ensuring a healthy and productive crop. Grapevine Farming The best method for grapevine farming depends on various factors such as soil type, climate and desired end product. Producing millions of grapevines can be a complex process that involves several steps, including seedling production, 
propagation and planting. Here's an overview of the general process for producing grapevines. Grape seedlings can be produced by planting grape seeds in a greenhouse or nursery. The seeds are typically planted in trays or pots filled with a sterile growing medium, such as peat moss or perlite. The trays or pots are kept in a warm, humid environment until the seeds germinate and begin to grow. Once the seedlings have reached a certain size, they can be propagated through various methods, such as cuttings, layering, or grafting. In cuttings, a section of a mature vine is cut and then planted to grow into a new plant. In layering, a branch of the parent plant is bent to the ground and buried, allowing it to produce roots and grow into a new plant. In grafting, a cutting from one plant is joined to the rootstock of another plant to produce a new plant with the desired characteristics. The grapevines can be planted in a vineyard or garden once they're large enough to survive on their own. The plants need to be spaced properly to allow for adequate sunlight and airflow, and the soil must be prepared with the appropriate nutrients and irrigation systems to ensure optimal growth. Grapevines typically begin producing fruit after two to three years. and the grapes can be harvested in the late summer or early fall. The grapes should be picked by hand to avoid damaging the fruit, and they should be sorted and processed immediately to ensure the highest quality. Once the grapes have been harvested, they can be processed into various products, such as wine, juice, or raisins. The processing methods will depend on the desired final product and may involve crushing, pressing, fermentation, and aging. Producing millions of grapevines requires a significant investment of time, resources, and expertise. It's essential to work with experienced growers and winemakers to ensure that the plants are healthy and productive and that the final product meets the highest standards of quality. Let us know about the video in the comment section. Thank you for watching.